Okay, I need to... Yeah, Skyward Sword is definitely on my backlog. Like, I would like to beat Skyward Sword before it's, I die. It's one of those games that's good for one playthrough. Yeah. In fact, I just made a, uh, I made a big Excel doc. It's not that big, but it, it's a, my video game backlog. I will actually, for you, the viewer, if you got here, if you got to this part, I will link you my video game backlog in the comments. Um, I'll send, it'll be a link to the Google Sheets, and How you can take a look. Sonic Frontiers? Um... <laughs> I put it down after no, <laughs> no, I'm on the third world. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to save Tails right now. But, uh, I, 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 yeah, three out of five, I think? But, yeah, I, I don't have any spoilers, don't, don't spoil anything. I didn't even want, I've, I've been avoiding reviews. Um... I just bought it a few days ago because it was on sale for Black Friday. Yeah, so I've still got um, oh, a long way to go, what the but fuck? holy shit. There's a lot of enemies I haven't seen in this game. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous territory. Yeah. Like I'm going to get a. Jesus Christ. These are some messed up Octoroks. So hungry, I could eat an Octorok. Uh, but yeah, it's, you know, Sonic Frontiers is uh, it's definitely a game. <laughs> It, it is not the Sonic game to save all Sonic games. I think... I think I will get that in my lifetime. Like, I, I want a Sonic game that gets, like, a 9.0 on Metacritic. Oh, that'd be fucking sick. Like, I, I want that. Check this fucking shit out. Check this fucking shit oh, Hold on. The Ice Rod. <clears throat> oh my god. So this, this is an optional, like, item, right? But we, but, until like the very last dungeon. Yes, and and that's what makes this game cool is that this game is very. Because um, I remember I, I'm mainly like. What the fuck? He uses some grass. <laughs> I'm mainly talking about Ego Raptors video, but about this in Ocarina. But like this I is. I am a, gonna need it eventually. This is know. a game where you have to like explore to get items that you will need later. Uh, I have a story about this game, about the Game Boy version. I got one bomb and I was like, I'm going to get the ice from <laughs> No, I'm Fuck glad. It. I'm Be glad bomb. you know what you're doing. Check your shit. It's Check so this fucking cool. Cool. I don't think he's a good target. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a story about this game. So, uh, one time when I was going to summer school, like in seventh grade, I, uh, oh. this one kid... Oh, I can pick him up. Nice. Get in the fucking <laughs> <laughs> This one kid showed me his Game Boy Advance. He's like, oh, check this out. This is, uh, you know, A Link to the Past on the Game Boy. I've got all these items. And he had, like, every item and every rod. And I was like, holy shit, like, this there's is, a like... Lot of, there's a lot of cool items in this game. Yeah. The mirror shield is so fucking big that it, like, covers your whole Oh, body. yeah. So when you face the front, you can see the whole shield. And it, like, blocks his oh, face. Yeah. But yeah, I just thought it was interesting, because at the time, I think I'd only really played uh, Minish Cap, and Minish Cap doesn't have near as many items. Or a lot of the items are more, like, situational, like you got the rod. Rock's Cape is so fucking Rock's good. Rock's Cape is cool they as have, fuck. The, the cane of Panachi or whatever that, like, flips objects. Yeah, you put it in the holes, and you can go you in the hole, and it them. flips you out, yeah. But um, this game has so many items that can, you know, because you can use that rod for... Um, I'm sure you use it for puzzles down the road, but you can use it for combat too. Which I'm pretty is cool. sure it's like just for one boss. Oh really? Yeah, it's a, it's like a two, three headed dragon, and it has ice and fire on it, and you have to hit it. Oh, uh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, ice and fire on. Get the fuck out gotcha. of here. Okay. So where where would you put this in your in your Zelda ranking? Oh, it's definitely top ten. <laughs> People are like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, I'd say top six or seven. Wow. This is pretty, pretty fucking good. Man. Pretty fucking good, this man. This is like the Chrono Trigger right. of Zelda. Yeah, well, well uh, easier question. Where would you put it in your 2D Zeldas? I think I like four swords. No. Uh, no, you can. No, I don't like Four Swords Adventures more. Fuck no. This is like top two. Material. I'm not saying Minish Cap's better, because I really have to think about what other 2D Zeldas there are. There's the Seasons. Yeah. And Ages. The Oracle game's pretty good. I like the Oracle of There's Seasons a Awakening. Than Link's Awakening. There's the original and two. Fuck no. 
People love Link's Awakening, but I like Oracle Seasons better. Mm. That, that would be cool to see if those games got remakes. Because they could... Yeah, they never they have, really have they? really reuse some of the resources from yeah. Link's Awakening for that. There was a lot of talk about it. You know those games were made by Capcom, right? Oh, yeah! Because when you boot them up, it's like, Capcom... Capcom. My brother had Ryu. ages, I had seasons. Oh, that's awesome. Um, and they had they had some different items and bosses between them. Mm -hmm. um, so it was it was very different than like Pokemon Gold and Silver type of shit. Yeah. But you had three because they were like way different. Because one was combat focused, one was oh the final focused. bosses were totally different. Mm -hmm. I mean they both had their combat. Don't get me wrong, but uh. Yeah, they said Seasons was more combat-focused and Ages was more puzzle-based. Uh-huh. Come with it, bitch. Wait, which one did you have? I had Seasons. Oh, yeah. Um, so, like, Oracle of Ages, it's like you have the, I don't want to say the Ocarina of Time, but you could change the time frame in areas. Mm. And I think it was just like past, present. Did you future. get a, Did you get to choose which one, <laughs> or did you just was your so was your was, brother just like ah fuck you you take this one? Uh, it might have been like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. You were the little brother. Because Oracle of Seasons, it's like if there was a bare tree stump and you had the rod of seasons, and you stood on top of a tree stump and you swung the rod, it would like change the season. Oh, and, like, I see. In the winter time, snow would cover up like holes and shit that you couldn't cross. Uh huh. It'd be like three or four holes wide, so even if you had like Rock's Cape, you couldn't jump it. Mm hmm. Was I Rock's Cape in that? I can't remember if you get in that game, but I'm pretty sure you do. Oh. Um. Interesting. So yeah, like you would change the seasons to navigate areas. And it was very unique. Interesting. Yeah, oh, that makes a lot more sense now. Having never played it myself. Yeah. Yeah, my, my friend Joe, who is a... Um, we talked about him before on, like, Majora's Mask and Ocarina playthrough, but um, huge... My college buddy, huge Zelda fan. But those were always his favorites uh, in terms of 2D Zeldas. He would go off how good the Oracle games were. They really are. Those are games that hold up very well. Mm-hmm. But then, like, I mean, I don't know. People also go off how good um, Awakening is, and I, I really like Awakening. Yeah, and I had not played that until the remake. And oh, really? I, I actually played, like, both of them side by side. What? Because I had the, the Game Boy version of the oh, 3DS, really? and I had the Switch version, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. And, like, I would do a couple dungeons on one, and then mm -hmm. it wasn't, like, one to one. But yeah, like the Eagle Tower or whatever. Oh, yeah. Fuck that dungeon. I hate that dungeon. Where you so, have to throw the ball at the pillar yeah. in the middle. So I, I have a funny story about that. Uh, so I, I I played, you know, that game the whole way through by myself pretty much. <clears throat> but our friend uh, Grant was in town when I was doing the Eagle Dungeon. And he, uh, he he's a pretty... Um, He's my college buddy as well, but he got introduced to Zelda pretty late. But he played through all the 3D Zeldas. Like, back to back to back when we were in college. Like, he literally played Ocarina, Majora's, Twilight Princess, and Skyward Sword, and Wind Waker. All of them in like a year span, maybe even less. Pretty fucking good. Pretty man. fucking good, man. The game was pretty fun. But anyway, when I got to the Eagle Dungeon, he was like, he was staying at my house, my apartment, just like, oh. just sleeping on the couch, and I would just like wake up, you know, and start playing. Get and pissed it, off. He he beat the Eagle Dungeon for me. Really? Yeah. Said nothing, just left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just beat and got the fuck up. Um, but yeah, I remember it being it being uh, pretty hard. You have to yeah navigate with the the fucking bowling balls. Yeah, I'm throwing at the pillar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took us a while to figure it out, but uh, we got Shit. it. But um, yeah, that one. It was good. It was good. I don't know if it was worth sixty dollars, but fuck. I don't I, think I can open this for the big key. But I'm gonna check it out. Eh? <laughs> eh? 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 
Sorry. <laughs> Sonic 06. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Can you do your best merchandise? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. <laughs> I will say, I mean, the jank in Frontiers isn't surprising. <laughs> it's, it's like it's a it's a step in a different direction for them again, dude. But also just Sonic. I mean, it, there are fun things about it. But it's, yeah, it's unwieldy. And yeah, it's uh... the fact that the whatever the stages, yeah, have like different control. I don't want to say control schemes, but like the. They feel disconnected. Yeah. They feel disconnected from the open world. Because the open world, it's like you're I unlocking... I want to go in with my 400 rings yeah. and just fucking haul ass through this. And it's like speed break. Yeah. The So in Sonic Frontiers, yeah, you have the open world and you have the... What do they call it? A cyber... Cyber yeah, stages? Cyber space. But the cyberspace stages are so disconnected from the open world. You don't get to use half the abilities you unlock. You, I feel like I go slower in them. They just feel like they're there because people like Sonic Colors and Sonic Unleashed, and <clears throat> they need to, you know, maintain. You know, the I, I, I would a just double-edged sword. Yeah, the levels are all uh, copy and pasted. <laughs> yeah, from I, previous games. Yeah, well. and and well, and the biggest um, criticism is that they all use. They only use like four different skins. There's Green yeah, Hill. There's not much difference. Yeah, Green Hill, Sky Sanctuary, Chemical Plant, and like some highway. Yeah, the, it's like yeah, it's like some city. I think it's, it's I think it's completely Jesus. unique, but yeah, some city um, skin. A but speed cars in the background. Yeah. Like how you call it a skin? Like a theming. Yeah, it's like a theming because it could just be like Green Hill, like because you're like, oh, I've already seen a level that looks like this. Yeah. It is, it is real because like there's there's it's a green hill but it's sky rail. Yeah. Like, what fucking yes. what? Like the the layout. It's almost I don't want to say to <laughs> deceive you. Yeah. But you're like it feels like I'm playing sky rail. I'm like this is sky rail. It I'm is like, sky. They, check they, this fucking shit out. Check this fucking shit out. Uh, oh my god. Wow. I don't I even have a bar. Never done that in a million years. Yeah. That was, some, that was a nice little piss. Yeah, thing. yeah. Grab yourself some Larrys. Oh, it's been a while since we could talk about Larrys. <laughs> eat them. What's <laughs> up? So, so, yeah. Oh shit. Speaking of this. <laughs> but yeah, there's literally a stage. It's like in the second world, and it's Green Hill Zone themed, but it is the exact same layout as Sky Rail. And honestly, I, it's when you're on the springs, isn't it? When you're like, oh my god. Yeah, it, it was the part where you get off the rail and there's like a spring to the top right, and then there's then there's the fucking things that you have to homing attack into, and you can't, and you can't do the this. Okay, this pissed me off. You the, have to stomp it, don't you? No, you, if you stomp it, it doesn't go as high. You can stomp it, but it just goes. Er. You have to homing attack it still. So yeah, I'm yeah. Fr Frontiers, I'm the, like mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. They, like it's a step in the right direction because it is new. I, I feel like it copies from a Breath of the Wild. Like a Breath of the Wild was obviously their inspiration. Um, but they they they're too timid on going that you know they didn't if they're gonna go for something like that they need to completely go for something like that like they still kept a lot of you know sonic colors and they didn't they're trying to get away from the boost but they're still using boost. yeah and it's not i don't have a problem with boost no it's just the levels feel like automated sometimes but even i have they do much of a because I haven't played uh, Forces or shit. It's it Forces is just like Sonic Colors. I mean, it's oh yeah, it's just like I mean, it's 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 just like Colors. Like yeah, it's not too different. Doesn't it have the wisps? Yes, it does have wisps. Oh, that explains that. Um, Check this fucking shit out. <laughs> These like crawdad looking dudes. So, open up. Open oh, the damn door. <laughs> Every goddamn <laughs> enemy in Zelda has the fucking one eye. Oh shit. But uh. I'm getting mobbed. 
Yeah, man, I... You know, you know what, what has grabbed me the most in Forces is the story so far. You mean Frontiers? Or, yeah. Frontiers, yeah, not for Jesus Christ. For, forces, I was bored the whole way through. Oh, this is a boss. This is the first boss. Holy shit. This is the first boss. Whoa. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. This is pretty intense for the first boss, you know? Oh, there's two. Oh yeah, we gonna fuck you up, boy. Wow, this Bloody Mary's good. <laughs> it's hit. God damn. How funny would that be if he did the, the young link? Cha! He does in the GBA. Yeah. He's, he still makes grunts though. Yeah, some people hate that. I mean, I don't hate it, but it does feel a little out of place. I'm like, this is the Ocarina <laughs> voice track or whatever. I'm they, a fucking they also, sniper with it though. They also changed something uh -huh. in, the, in the opening cutscene. They say, um... Cause you know how Ocarina talks about like the three goddesses? Yeah. They, they make mention of the three goddesses in the opening. Um, because before it says something like the sages or something, but they, they changed something in the opening to fit it more with the overall Zelda timeline. Uh, Jesus Christ. I will say that this game is much more combat involved and you're killing it. Oh, um, for the record, spin attack is stronger than just swipe on the sword. Ah, uh, yes. And I'm pretty sure arrows are strong, but I'm <laughs> no, you're just gonna play a ring around the road. You're killing it. You're killing it. I'm loving it. Yeah, anyway. I will say, I do have uh, PTSD flashbacks of the centipede boss that knocks you off the. Yeah, that's, the that's coming a bit. Yeah, yeah. I, I know it's early because I, I remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's big. It doesn't even fill my head. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! Got the first Chaos Emerald. We them boys. I'm gonna assume you mean the Chaos Emeralds. Because if that's what you're concerned about, I have I've one, got right, one of the emeralds right, right here. <laughs> chaos Control. <laughs> chaos Control. Chaos Control. I'm just gonna have a little shot real quick. Just a celebratory fireball shot. Wahoo! Yeah, like a basic college bitch. Wahoo! Yeah, that's perfect. Eehaw! Eehaw! <laughs> Don't. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I appreciate sure I go back to this motherfucker. Oh, just what I needed! He gonna give me the Pegasus boots. Uh. Oh! Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, Pegasus boots. Come on. Yeah! Okay, sure. Yeah, man. There's something, you know. There's something about 16-bit games that's just like so. It's timeless. So, oh, so timeless. It stands the test of time. We were, we were there for the golden age of gaming, my. You know, I, I really only was for like Sonic 3. I mean, I was like, too young to hear people complain about games back then. But I'm just saying, like, I didn't really hear much bad about games from that time. No. I mean, fuck, I mean, we were just talking about Metroid and shit. Original Metroid sucks, but <laughs> Super Super Nintendo to GameCube, I will declare the golden age of gaming. Mm. Now, 360, PS3, and all that was pretty damn good, too, you know? But I feel like nowadays, there's a, yeah. lot, there's a lot more complaints with, like, business practices and shit. And back then, it was like, man, I can just enjoy the fucking game, you know? <laughs> Yeah. I just appreciate it for what it was. Now it's like, uh, gotta get the DLC to get the <laughs> full experience or something. You know, or like, man, they really want me to do a battle pass for this character. Yeah. You, you could argue that there pff, nowadays there's more visibility to that. Um, I mean, why are people so nostalgic for games around that time? You know, oh my god, yeah. Battlefront 2. Hey, we're gonna do a remake of it. It's gonna be a fucking dog turd. <laughs> That's yeah. true. But you have to remember, like, there were also problems at at those times. Cause do oh, you, of course. Do you remember, um, like, licensed games? Uh, you know, like, every single movie 
would have a licensed game with it. Oh, they suck. And they were terrible. Like, oh, yeah. uh, there, there would be, like, a, a, you know, there's an exception to the rule, like, Spider-Man 2. I still feel 2. like nowadays, if there's a game based on a movie, it's probably not going to be that great. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like Wii U shovel, or, or yeah. Wii shovelware third party mm -hmm. bullshit. Mm. Fucking Larry, baby. Yes, that's exactly what it was, but you don't see that as often. Like, f okay, for example, like, what... I mean, the Wii had a reputation for just having so many third-party... Correct. ...shit, dog, control... Or yeah. Whatever. Just anybody just could just shit out yeah, a game there, yeah. let's put a real basic point-and-click thing yeah, on the but, Wii. Yeah, but, like, you know, for the PS2, like, there... Every movie that came out, there was, like, a an accompanied game with it. Like, fucking uh, Austin Powers had a game. Fucking... The Spice Cor Girls. Corey's House had a game. Corey in the House. Corey in the <laughs> Fucking... On the DS, that's so raven. You know, every Pixar movie, like, you know, Madagascar, Over the Hedge, like, all of those had an accompanying game, and that was just shit out. And that was a big... Com that was a huge complaint back in the day. It was just like... It was like, maybe we shouldn't make a game just to capitalize Compliment on this. Yeah, just to capitalize on this name. Um, so you don't see that as much anymore. Like, if a Spider-Man game comes out nowadays, it's like a big deal. It's a high quality. Yeah. It was made by Insomniac, a reputable uh, developer. Um, Dude. So I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, like, those, no, those, things, those things days have... weren't always perfect. No, no, no. But, uh, th things have gotten better, and they have gotten worse. <laughs> mm. Yeah, for, I... For instance, like, patching games. You know, back then, fighting games, is like, oh, that character's busted or top tier. It's just gonna be that way. You know, yeah. it's like, uh, we're gonna nerf and buff characters. And yeah, yeah, yeah he definitely. Gets, he gets really mad when I pick up his sign. It's just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Mario. Mexican Mario. Oh, what the? That is my you sign. Know, what you do you do? You me in the desert, motherfucker. This you are making the... me uncomfortable. I'm gonna kill his oh. <laughs> oh. 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 The, ja man. the jazz hands. <laughs> What's up now, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Oh, shit. So I had to go use a Hold on, I gotta kill this son of a bitch. Oh, 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 oh. Come with it, motherfucker. Oh. Get your banana peeling hands off. <laughs> get your banana peeling hands off me. I'm gonna get the skill shot. I don't think I can get the skill shot. Wahoo! He's fucking dead. Alright, now I gotta... Hold on. I gotta get my book. Book of Buddha. Oh yeah, open, open that room. shit up. <laughs> you just gotta say a little wish. I wish to go into this dungeon. I love you, mama. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen that sprite before. <laughs> I know, he takes a knee. For Jesus. I think this was the last one I did before my save got corrupted. Is this the second one? Yeah. Uh, I think you could go and do the third one as well. But I definitely to, got all three. You get the power bracelet like, in this dungeon. Fuck. Oh, uh, okay. Does that help you move big you boulders? Might just take this dungeon too. This one. Holy hell. Wahoo! Yeah, so you can do them in, like, any order, and... I think when you get to the, the second part of the game, it's more like that. Mm. Like you open that shit up. Because, like, Ocarina, uh... I'm, I'm blanking on this, but... You, you, Ocarina is... You didn't have a ton of freedom in Ocarina. You could do the fire or the water first, right? Uh... I'm almost uh, certain on that. I want to say... In can. But you almost all like everybody does the fire first. You you could do the spirit and the shadow temple separately, but you have to go into this the shadow temple to get the hover boots. And then you can go to the spirit temple. Yeah. And the hover boots are like right inside the shadow temple. I did that once, but it's like you're already in there. Yeah. Just be a man. <laughs> True. Just finish the damn dungeon. That is cool. I mean, that Ocarina was kind of the start of the linearity. Yeah. But that very, was very, very much because it was their first three. Yeah. Games. Well, and they just they had the narrative was bigger in that. It, you know, you had involved cutscenes and cutscenes that you had to sit through. Whereas this game, it's way more just like yeah, whatever you feel I'm like, just man. Going around doing the 
damn thing. Yeah. Now, the remake on the 3DS, uh, that, that had much more freedom than where you could go because you could buy items from the shop, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're talking about the, the port. A Link Between Worlds. A Link Between Worlds, yeah. Which I hear is the, if you have never played a Zelda game, a lot of people say start with that one. It's very good. You know, I, I thought the, originally I thought the merge into walls mechanic would kind of done. Yeah. But I was like, this is actually pretty, pretty, pretty fucking good, man. I'm getting shit about this quicksand. <coughs> you will die. You will die. <laughs> and what's this? Wow. Oh. oh shit. Oh my lord. That's a Bemos. If I ever done seen one. I'm gonna stay the hell out of his way. Alright, I need a key. I'm looking for a just what I need. I'm looking for a key. 